So I debated, like, I really debated whether I should play the new Garden of Ban Ban chapter that just released or this game. And I came to the conclusion that I really just did not want to pay for Garden of Ban Ban. Plus, the new chapter is like twice as much as the other chapters. And I watched a playthrough of it and it's a lot shorter than the other chapters. I just didn't want to buy it, so we're playing Martha is Dead instead. And I don't know how far we are to being done, but I hope we're almost there. I really like the game so far with what we've played and I'm excited to continue, so let's just go ahead and start. Last we left off, it's been a hot minute, um, did Julia get shot or was that the chapter before the last one? I'm pretty sure it was the last chapter she got shot. Okay, I think, yes, this is where we left off. Julia was shot. Alright, let's go. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. If her bag's gone, maybe her parents took it. Maybe they know she's not Martha. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. Let's head out. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her oh, chest. Oh, jeez. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died, but thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death. Yes. Oh, she I was what to say. close. All of this, it's too much, so much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor. Oh my gosh. Everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. That bird just killed the other one. Is that like a metaphor for the game? Do I have to- yes, I have to get dressed. Do I want to be Martha or do I want to be Julia? Hmm, that's a snazzy shirt. Let's go with that one. The ceremony is today, so I need a suitable dress. Never mind. to spend a moment with my sister just me and her alone before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away cool there's my bag oh. thank god let's hope Blapo's letter is in there July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. 
I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Interesting. And we read all these? Okay. We can do another card pick. The hero fent? I don't know if I'm saying that right. The sun. The emperor. There is darkness that brings uncertainty. But there will be a guide. Something that can teach me something. This is his letter? Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. But he did now, so... I knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Oh. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. That's a little harsh. Violence against citizens continues in La Romola. And once again, General Kay's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha. When it's not too sunny dangerous. outside, the 200 no, ISO the film works well. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the Battle of Port Giponsi, on the 18th, they are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausted. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vicenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Oh, their telephone numbers. Oh, nothing new. At least nothing that I understand. She leaves them everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. What is it? We explored this all last time, I think, so... There shouldn't be much new. Can I call on the phone yet? Let me check. Nope. Okay. No one is ever here when I wake up. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister 
is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But it was... But that's not what happened. Yeah. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. Sus. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. No more bikes? Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. I think that's it. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. All right. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. Mm. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, nanny. You're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh my god. Julia. My little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but... I thought you were dead. I... I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow. What is happening? Fade to black. I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa oh. and she died. Oh my- They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor nanny. Oh no. Not the nanny. Bye, nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. And that's the last she ever heard of her. Oh, we can now use the phone to make calls. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One. I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. 2. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work. So I'll need scissors to cut some off. Okay, scissors, Three, the I grave. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four. To communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Let's try the phone. What was the number that he gave us? Good thing I took a screenshot. Six. Nine. Three. 
for? Who's it calling? You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage uh -oh. the table and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Oh, but if I reveal it to her dad, he's going to know I'm Julia. Oh, I hate decisions. Why do I want help or do I want to reveal? Let's reveal so he knows that I, I am Julia. I decided to tell my father everything. I loved him very much, so I couldn't do such a thing in secret. I didn't understand anything about these things. I would have acted without knowing what I was doing. Daddy told me to agree to their requests and report everything back to him. He implored me not to get myself into any trouble. Like all fathers do. Just like that? the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. Or just like that? So he's like, oh, I guess you're Julia. And he just moves on or, or like there's Martha no reveal. Was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Mm, okay. No more bikes. I need scissors. I need to photograph spirits. Say goodbye to Martha. Oh, I have scissors. Do I do I go call all these people? Why why? Why would I? Where do I need to go? The bicycle. Alright, let me let me um let me check down here real quick. Cause I think this is where the tripod is. Well, there is a tripod down here. I don't know if I can take it. There it is. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. Yes, indeed. Um, Let me check the map. I'm going to go to the cable first. I guess not. Okay. He's gone, bruh. I don't know what you're trying to do. He's gone.
How very fitting. Dead bird in front of the dead body. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. You want me to put the dead bird next to Martha? All right. Grip him. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. Oh. It'll be safe next to her. That's kind of sad, actually. Why she grip it like that um, meme of angrily gripping food? I guess I have to put this down first. They're gonna be like, "Hey, Martha, why is this, this dead is bird heart. on her chest?" Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Well, you're not. You're wearing your own, so... Holy water. It's only water, and yet there's something special about it. Because it's holy. There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. That raven is making a big fuss. Yeah, chill, bruh. That's kind of sad though. Why do people not like her? What's so special about Martha? Commune of San Casciano. Province of Florence. Death certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, number 174, part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia K has died. Resident of Via Perchabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich K and Irene K. Don Attilio D will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M, who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo 6537. So I need to call that 6537. Where is that dang crow? Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. Where is that dang raven? Go away. Do I have to follow it? I need to call this number before I forget it. 6537. I'm gonna forget. I need to go call right now. 6537. I act as her mother herself I'm be myself hello it's Julia K Eric K's daughter yeah yeah what, what do you want from me I'll be calm I'm sorry to disturb you I just wanted to know if I can come over to see you later today or tomorrow of course not do not come looking for me anymore stop bothering me you <laughs> oh he must be going crazy. I don't believe for one second that mummy would let him treat her this way. Sheer madness. I don't even know who that was. Come here, you little raven. You're very annoying. Actually, I love it because, you know, spooky season and ravens. I love it. All right, I guess we're following this raven. Dress. It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. 
In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. And fade to black again. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the Oh funeral. no, she missed it? When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, <laughs> I struggled to believe it. But it made so much sense. Imagine that'd be so messed lady, up. She must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. So imagine, imagine if she didn't pretend to be Martha. She'd be like, I lived. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. And she's playing nothing. This makes me feel very uncomfortable because she is caressing. He's caressing the keys. What's going on here, Julia? What? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? Mm -hmm. I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? Oh my god. You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and and you're just a useless little <laughs> Oh. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she she talked to me. I I no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough! These look like little peepees. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic! They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Dang, that's crazy. That's crazy, bruh. No, but like... What does she mean she talked? What do you mean by that? Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. Oh no. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Yulia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I, I need to get the cable. Alive. Even if we have lost Martha. Your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. She did, bruh. I need to get the communications cable. Let me do that quickly. German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location via telegraph. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. And they're not gonna see you just snipping that cable? Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. 
Well, I'm gonna go check out the white lady. Or at least go do what I was meant to do. I can do another tarot card thing. The Wheels of Fortune. The Hanged Man. And... The Chariot. I'm going to make it. It will all change eventually. But luck will not be my ally and everything will be very difficult. Okay. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? I will True. hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Okay, where is the cow barn? Oh, <gasps> what the heck happened? Oh no, the fence has been destroyed. Oh, jeez. Could it have been wolves? Uh, girl, I don't, I don't know about that. Not the piggy. Oh, wait a second. What does that say? Nazi fascists at the stake. What? Who could have done this? What did these poor creatures have to do with anything? Right, leave the animals alone, bruh. Dude, I don't even know what a telegraph looks like. The telegraph must be hidden in one of these feed bins. First try. to start every message with the code I saw the tank on the road and the road is near the house I guess I have to communicate something like that um let me see man we're doing Morse code up in here Girl, ain't no way I can translate that. What the heck? They are asking me to find a map of the defensive line. There is one in my father's study. Girl, that was too hard. That was way too hard. Um, I think that's a good stopping point because that took forever and we already started another chapter. We played through a whole chapter already, but I'm going to keep playing so I can get the next part recorded and I'll be able to post it sooner. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Um, if you're enjoying this series, let me know because I am, but it's taking a long time. I'm just impatient, but I do like this game. It's interesting and I'm excited to see what happens and how it progresses. So I'll have the next one up as soon as I can. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.